Welcome back to PSC Tech 5. This week I promised to smile to my friends uh, Visa and Valdex. So here is my smile, that's the best I can do, I hope you will like it. And the topic of this week uh, will be uh, consuming OneDrive for Business through the Microsoft Graph API within the context of SharePoint framework. So uh, we know that with a Microsoft Graph, uh, we can uh, consume a bunch of APIs uh, targeting OneDrive for Business. For example, we can get access to the list of drives that we have. We can get a reference to a specific drive. We can get the files inside of a drive and we can uh, update, copy, move, uh, convert to PDF uh, those files, uh, as well as get a preview of the files. Uh, we can search for them. We can create folders and so on and so forth. Now, from a SharePoint framework perspective, in order to consume those APIs, uh, you will need, first of all, uh, to start using uh, version 1.6 or higher of SharePoint framework. Actually, you can use an earlier version of SharePoint framework too, but you will have to do quite a lot of manual uh, activities. While starting from 1.6, uh, you have full support for consuming the Microsoft Graph. And in order to do that in SPFX uh, 1.6 or higher, you can declare in the package solution.json file the permissions that you will require to consume the target API that you want to access. And you will uh, be able to use the MS Graph client factory type, uh, which is provided through the context of SPFX, uh, to create an MS Graph client instance and to use that instance to consume the target endpoint that you want to use uh, in the Microsoft Graph. So let me move to Visual Studio Code and let me show you how to do that in practice. So here we have a client-side web part created with SharePoint Framework and the purpose of this client-side web part is to show the most recently updated files that you have in your uh, OneDrive for business storage. You can select how many items you want to see and let me switch to the source code to show you how it works uh, in practice. Uh, but before going to Visual Studio Code, let me share with you the API that I'm going to use. So from a Microsoft Graph perspective, I'm using the me slash drive slash recent to get the most recently updated files in my uh, OneDrive for Business. In order to use this functionality, this API, I need to have uh, from a delegated uh, permission uh, perspective, uh, any of these permissions. So for example, file read all or site read all or any of the permissions that you see in this uh, section. And in order to make the request, we simply need to make a get request and we will get back uh, a JSON response with the list of items which have been recently updated in our OneDrive for Business. So from a SharePoint framework perspective, here I have a client-side web part which will become pretty soon available uh, under the uh, OneDrive samples in PMP. And this is a, a client-side web part built uh, using React. And in the render, I simply rely on a personal drive React component, uh, which accepts as properties a graph client object, which I can create inside my uh, client side web part, uh, for example, in the on init method, uh, and I simply use the MS Graph client factory to get a client instance. And once I've done that, I save that client uh, MS Graph client instance uh, into the graph client private variable that I have in my client side web part in order to being able to provide it to the personal drive component together with some other information. In the personal drive component, uh, in the render, we simply use the web part title. Uh, React component uh, provided by PMP React controls, a spinner when we are loading the items, and a list view to render the document. In the component did mount or in the component did update if we need to update the rendering, we load the files. And in order to load the files, uh, we use the graph client object we get through the properties. We use the me drive recent uh, API endpoint for the version 1.0 of the Microsoft Graph. Uh, we select a specific set of properties that we want to read for every recently updated file. We make a top uh, based on the settings we have in the UI, so top five or top uh, X items uh, in the resulting list. Uh, and we order them by name, uh, descendant name. Once we have done that, uh, we get the uh, result from the HTTP get request for the me drive recent uh, URL and then we process the result. If there is any error, we will show the error. If we have the result, we simply set the state of the React component in order to show the items in the UI using the uh, list view uh, to render graphically the resulting items. Uh, in order to be able to leverage such kind of functionality, I want to remind you that we need to use the Web API permission request in the package solution.json file of the SharePoint framework solution. 
and we have to declare that for the Microsoft Graph as the target resource, uh, we want to have a permission scope, uh, which has to be any of the permission scopes that we have uh, in the documentation of the endpoint, so any of these items, for example, files.read.all. Once I will drag and drop the SPPKG file in the app catalog of my tenant, uh, I will be able to see in the pending approval list uh, of my API management page uh, under the new admin center of SharePoint Online that there is a pending request for the uh, files.read.all permission and I will be able to select, uh, let's get anything randomly, I will be able to select that item to approve the permission request or reject the permission request and if I approve the permission request it will show up in the approved items and I will be able to run my client server path and that approval will be tenant-wide available for my tenant. So that's it, pretty easy and really really powerful. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.